hormones and the pharmaceuticals that we've been told to flush down our toilets are now appearing in the river and seeming to have effects on the fish. And the fish are changing uh, their sexual hormones that are changing the fish's sexes. In fishes, sex is usually not determined genetically, but it's determined based on hormone levels in the bloodstream. When these fish are exposed through the water in which they're swimming to extra hormones, they cannot discriminate between those hormones and those inside their body. And since most of these hormones, these endocrine disruptors are estrogenic, so they act like female estrogens, male fish will become feminized. They will lose some of the masculine related characters and become more like female fishes. These compounds are biologically active at extremely low concentrations and where there are very low levels of hormones in the wastewater that get into the surface water and we start to see some rather drastic effects such as uh, rather extreme feminization of the fish that are living in, in, in the waters. And they can be as little as just losing their coloration that is usually strong in male fish but it can be as extreme as actually growing ovarian tissues, ovaries, in the male testes, in the male reproductive structure. And that entire range of effects has been documented in different streams and rivers and lakes in the United States. If all of the fish in the Mississippi River became female, obviously then you have no reproduction. The Department of Natural Resources perhaps would try to compensate by stocking the Mississippi River with fish um, so that it could remain a productive fishery which would be very expensive. If you take out a, a few key populations and we don't really know which ones are key, you could have a catastrophic effect to your community. Specifically, one of the tests we do is we look for a, a protein that shows up in male fish that have been exposed to, to a suspected compound that um, rather mimics the effects of estrogen. S1, one little female. If the male fish make that protein, which they normally shouldn't, it's a sign that, that the compound, the suspected compound, is, is estrogenic. That it's having effects that mimic estrogen. And so that should have wide-ranging wide effects on, on humans as well.